mga heavy metals na nagkakos ng damage sa ating immune system. Actually, yung episode na ito is a supplemental learning for our masterclass for allergy, inflammation, infection, and autoimmune disease. This is a supplemental video for them, but I've decided to why not share it with everyone. So, ano-ano ang mga heavy metals that are damaging our immune system. So, tatlo sila. It's lead, mercury, and arsenic. And sa mga bagay na yun, mostly nakukuha natin sila in our environment. So, that's why hindi lang basta nag avoid tayo ng certain foods, but also we have to be mindful of the items na pinapalapit natin sa ating sarili or the things that we expose ourselves. Especially yung mga bata because children are most vulnerable to the damages of the immune system kapag na-expose ito. So, isa-isahin natin. And of course, there are others na alam natin, wait lang, na alam natin can actually serve us if ever we know how to avoid. So, una, tingnan natin kung ano yung sources ng lead. So, yung lead is, number one source is paint. So, it's very, it's everywhere. And, hindi man tayo nag-discriminate, but if it's a low quality kind of paint, yun yung mostly yung mataas sa lead. And sa children, emphasis lang, if you are buying toys for children that are already painted, so most of those paint is actually lead-based. So if it's a low quality, yung mga sobrang mura, mataas yan sa lead, and our body absorbs lead from our skin, from our mucosa, kaya as much as possible, avoid. Yung dust and soil, hindi naman yan natin always ma-avoid, but at least yung, yung soil... Habang tayo ay nag, na, ka, uh, gamit ng shoes or footwear, na-avoid naman yon. When it comes to drinking water, merong mataas yung lead components. If it's from rivers or lake o yung uh, direct source talaga, yung hard water na sabi natin. Kaya dapat uh, processed somewhat soft water. Pero hindi naman kailangan na... na ano talaga, purified or distilled. In fact, mineral water is really good. Yung importante lang, we have it in forms na safe para sa atin. Especially na yung tubig is kailangan din malinis. So, yung iba, uh, certain medicines like and cosmetics, mataas din sa lead yan. And again, doon nagkakaiba yung parang expensive more branded, more high quality na kinds of of cosmetics, the one that you use for your face, the one that you use for your skin, especially sa mga babae, I know marami dyan, very effective, sobrang matagal, matang, sobrang matagal, matanggal, sobrang matagal, matanggal, tama. <laughs> okay? And also yung iba, maganda nga ilagay sa mukha, pero it might contain a lot of lead. At kapag mataas yung lead component niyan, that little by little can go to our system. So, hindi natin gustong magkaroon kayo ng parang panic or phobia sa lahat ng bagay. But at least we be mindful. Uh, whenever you do something directly, like if kailangan kayong mag, mag gumawa ng project and you have to use paint or certain chemicals na mataas sa lead, at least use safety uh, clothing, like gloves, kung kailangan, gumamit ng apron, gumamit ng face shield. Doon na lang ako mag agree na gumamit ng face shield and eye shield when you are really working. But generally, in public, hindi talaga ganun ka-effective yung, yung face shield. Especially na Pilipinas na nagpauso niyan. But thank goodness, no? Na wala na ngayon. Hindi na siya compulsory. Face shield, eye shield is important if you have direct exposure to body fluids. So, if you are doing surgery, like before pandemic, if gumagawa kami ng surgery and then nagdidrill kami ng mga buto, ng bones, for example, so maraming bone shavings na pumupunta sa aming mukha. So, that's the time that we use face shield. So, that's why even before pandemic, gumagamit na kami ng eye shield or, or face shield, but on close contact surgery. So, ganito lang yung distance, eh, mga one foot apart lang. And then, nagsishave kami ng buto. Yes, we do bone shaving whenever we do our operation. 
para po sa ngayon pala nakakilala sa akin as I am an advocate of low carb nutrition and fasting but before that I'm actually a surgeon so that's why yan nakalagay dyan it's ENTHNS so ears, nose, throat, head and neck surgery and my planned subspecialty would be facial plastic surgery but that is not our topic for today yung topic natin is more on the heavy metals na kailangan natin i-avoid so yun yung mga para lang sa uh, practical uses avoid make sure nga kapag just like when we read labels sa pagkain, if you are buying cosmetics, if you are buying external products, no, kahit yung mga lotion, yung mga kung ano-anong uh, products, especially for children, try to look kung nawala itong lead. Choose the ones that are lead-free para hindi ito maka cause ng problem. So, others, yung mga material sa bahay, mostly maraming lead yan, but hindi naman natin yan na-expose too much. What's good lang though, when we have these exposures, if we are like incorporating fasting regularly, fasting is a natural course of, of healing when it comes to detoxification ng ating katawan. So, when we do low-carb we don't add more items that are toxic to our body and at the same time if we incorporate fasting we give our body the opportunity na mawala ito because yung mga toxins na ito these heavy metals they can actually get embedded sa loob ng ating fats sa ating taba so if we do fasting and we have fat elimination we use we continuously use our fats to be utilized as energy. So, merong mataas na fat turnover. So, hindi ibig sabihin na, na forever tayo magpa-fat burning. Meron din mga panahon that we still store fats. Pero, hindi na ganun kadami. And when that time comes, that time comes, you can already see that your body is lessening its toxic le toxin level. And fasting, fat burning can do that. Kaya, importante yan. So, that's for lead. It, it can be found in mga, yes, even candies and foods na mostly imported and sadly, yun yung mga parating on sale. If you are always buying on one dollar store o yung mga super bargains, yung mga cookies na tatlong taon na hindi pa rin expire yung mga candies na lalagay mo lang dyan kahit yung kahit nga, kahit nga ilang open lang siya, hindi siya nasisira. So, you can ask uh, the ingredients in there, the preservatives, at marami pang ibang nandyan. So, I hope you will choose the right foods. And the real nutritious foods is actually yung hindi nakapakete, walang packaging. You'll know that that is really real food. So, moving forward, we have arsenic. So, yung mga arsenic, ganun pa din, uh, it can have, it can be found in paints, in many in many um, in earth if parati kayong na expose talaga in soil so might as well use your gloves sa mga nang gardening jan sa mga plantito at plantita jan i know iba yung nararamdaman if you are really working with soil but you might want to also protect yourself para to be safe lang yung sadly arsenic is embedded sa fertilizers, herbicides, pesticides, sa uh, irrigation ng mga certain products and yun sa ating agriculture domesticated animals. So that's why as much as possible if makakahanap kayo ng source ng anim ng meat products that are organic, hindi masyadong pinaglalagyan ng maraming kung ano-anong mga mga gamot and not for the produce naman for the vegetables kung pwede kayo mismo magtanim o di kaya yung inyong neighbor na nagtatanim doon na lang kayo bumili the ones that you are certain na walang fertilizer walang pesticide walang ganyan that can actually help because that can add to problems when it comes to accumulation of arsenic these heavy metals are shown to involved in our immune system functioning at kapag yung immune system natin ay disrupted it can lead into problems with our brain 
they can cause disruption sa ating brain function. That's why it's important na i-eliminate natin yan. And over time, lahat tayo actually nagkaroon na yan ng elimination sa ating katawan. That's why kung ngayon pa lang kayo nakakapunta sa ating page at hindi pa kayo nagsisimula mag-fasting, you might consider doing fasting kahit 12 hours lang, okay na yan, magsimula lang so that you have your body's chance to really tap onto those fat stores magkakaroon ng opportunity na yung taba ay ma-activate and then ma-burn into energy at sa pag-burn ng energy na yon lalabas na rin yung mga toxins that are incorporated there over time kasi yung fats natin hindi lang siya basta taba lang hindi lang siya storage of energy it is also a storage of hormone it is also a storage ng mga toxins parang dun yun hinahouse ng ating katawan to protect actually our body from those impact parang siya, siya yung parang pinaka ano natin pinaka storage room natin so hindi lang basta energy sometimes yung mga waste product din dun lang nakastore because alam ng katawan natin, kaya natin yung i-recycle, kaya natin yung eliminate if ever we will incorporate regular fasting. And lastly, special mention itong mercury. Mercury, nandyan yan sa mga coal, sa maraming products, you know, mercury like saan ba yun? Sa old school na, ano, na thermometer. But the important mercury that I want to emphasize is the one that we eat from the fish from seafood that's why you the healthiest kind of fish that you can eat are the smallest one kasi every every animal or every fish na nandyan meron yung mercury content at if you if naglalaro kayo ng feeding frenzy yung laro na wherein one small fish will be eaten by a little bigger fish and another bigger fish and another bigger fish i think yung pinakahuli sa sa feeding frenzy is yung barracuda barracuda at ayon so this one is an example of the food chain so yung shark at yung mga pinakamalaki ng mga mga fish yung mercury level nila is sobrang taas na so, eat only a few times per month or kung pwede nga lang hindi, few times a month ha. And then this one, yung mga nandyan, eat only few times or less a week. So, kahit maglagay na lang, one, one to two a month, one to two a week. However, yung mga maliliit and then this one, you can eat as unlimited because yung kanilang mercury component is low. So, the smaller the fish, the safer. So, yung sa atin, dilis o bulinaw. Bulinaw ba yan in Visaya? Uh, balingon in Ilonggo. So, those small fishes are actually the healthiest. Sila yung mataas sa omega-3 and then mataas din sa calcium. And if you eat them as whole, whole from nose to tail, buo talaga, you will get more benefits. So, importante yan. So, yes, I, it's good, Marilyn, that you are doing your gardening at home. At yung Vilma Diza, as always, sabi natin, hindi kailangan ng vitamins sa low-carb. If you are eating low-carb the right way, if hindi pa kayo ganun ka knowledgeable, instead of buying all of these supplements, might as well invest it on learning for you to not just gain one one month worth of vitamins, but the knowledge that you can bring in your life and you can share to your family. That knowledge it will equip you na malalaman mo kung paano ka makakakuha ng lahat ng vitamins and minerals na kailangan mo without spending even a dime or a centavo or a peso for external supplements ng vitamins and minerals. Those are discussed in our Low Carb and Fasting Masterclass wherein nasa marami na din yung ating participants, the ones we are very grateful. Nagpapasalamat kami because of your belief and faith na sumali kayo sa masterclass. Although you are showing your gratitude that you see yourself the benefit the moment you decide, you apply what you learn to yourself. Nakikita nyo how you are healing, how you are improving, how you no longer need so many medications. But know that you are also helping us do what we do and you are are helping as many people as possible it's the ripple effect that you do the moment you invest in yourself you are also contributing to the greater cause of our community that is to help 
as many people as possible discover low carb know about the amazing benefits of low carb nutrition and incorporation of fasting so para sa ngayon pa lang nakapasok sa ating page papakilala ko kayo kay Onyx Girl come here my love so this is Onyx Girl this is my clinic doggy so siya dito apat sila but Onyx Girl is the one that is in our clinic so ilang ilang buwan tayo hindi nagkita my love so it's one month and half tayong hindi nagkita so this is onyx girl naka carnivore din siya so carnivore ano yung kinakain mo parate so what he she is eating is mostly chicken bones no o yung ulo ng chicken kasi mura lang at hindi sila na ano hindi sila nagkakaroon ng problema when it comes to swallowing bones because sinanay ko sila when they were still little na kumakain ng bones so Apat silang dogs ko, and this one is the eldest. Although, ako lang nag-decide na eldest siya. Kasi hindi naman natin alam kung sino unang lumabas sa kanila, di ba? <laughs> Are you happy? So, this is Onyx Girl. She is an American Pitbull Terrier. Apat sila. Onyx Girl yung kanyang pangalan because my original dog is Onyx. Yung daddy niya. At siya yung nakakuha ng mukha ni Onyx. So, recycle na lang tayo para hindi na tayo mag-isip ng marami pang pangalan. So, this is Onyx Girl. Hello. Say all that, my love. Diba? Ang ganda, ang ganda, no? <laughs> so, yeah. And they are friends with, uh, with with my nephews. With my nephews here. Kaya, she is very good sa mga pasyente ko. I think they were able to meet Onyx Girl na. So, yun lang. I will... Wala, wala. Hindi naman... Malinis na naman si Onyx Girl. She's an indoor dog. Indoor and free and cage-free. Yun talaga dapat yung animals, di ba? Dapat free and happy. So, maraming salamat everyone. We will go now. Muslims do fasting during the month of Ramadan, Islamic calendar, and also every Mondays to Thursdays. Yeah, that's why fasting is very important. It's cleansing our soul, it's cleansing our body, and it's also cleansing our medical side of our our physical body. Kaya nag improve talaga lahat whenever you consider um, like kung meron kayong sakit sa sa shoulders and then merong isa, merong bukol sa isang part and then tumataas yung blood sugar, yung isa may GERD. So all of those, kung sa traditional treatment yan, bibigyan niya ng gamot individually. Isa ba yung gamot sa diabetes, isa yung gamot sa hypertension, and then isa rin yung gamot sa ibang bagay. But when you actually address it to root cause, you correct what is the problem which is inflammation, you will just be surprised na yung mga gustong mag, magbawas na ng timbang, eventually, yung kanilang frozen shoulder na wala, yung kanilang carpal tunnel na wala, yung kanilang uh, trigger finger na wala, yung kanilang GERD na wala, yung kanilang asthma nag-subside, hindi na nangangailangan ng rescue doses, yung rhinitis nila na wala, and then they become more focused, they become more parang mas active, more productive and most imp- importantly they became happier mas naging masaya actually because you were able to now focus your faculties your mental mental processing to the more important things and you were able to pay attention sa mga bagay na mas kailangan talagang pagtuunan ng pansin and not just food so our heavy metals that you should avoid about mercury, lead, and and uh, arsenic. If you choose to go on low carb nutrition, the nutrient dense low carb, and try to simplify your your life. Walang masyadong kung ano anong arte. I have a friend na sa toys ng kanyang mga anak. Everything is wood, wood wooden toys. So, sobrang ganda. It's wooden toys and then walang kailangang paint. Kung meron mang paint, yun yung mga, I think that was water-based paint. So, yung lead-free. But generally, wood toys is good. So, yun. But I think wood toys is good pero kung pinapakain mo naman ng candy, biscuit, at kung ano-ano pang carbs, then, all, then it might not be somewhat enough. So, kailangan pa rin proper nutrition. So, yun lang muna for now. I'll see you again in another video. I have to go now. Maraming salamat everyone. Remember to stay low carb so that we all stay safe. Have a good day.